Hey everybody, hey kittens. All right, I'm sure you guys have mail back today. Uh, we're doing it late, we're doing it at noon in about, I don't know, a little less than 10 minutes now. So I will be back in a little less than 10 minutes now. We'll start opening these boxes and uh, I'll give you guys the news of the week like we do. Sorry, it's a couple hours late. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go put my coffee, I think, in a safer cup and I'm gonna get the mailbag box and stuff so we can do this. I'll be right back. You kids wait here. Sorry, no, you gotta wait here.
Hi kittens. One, two, three, four, five. Who's missing? It's uh it's morsel. Where's morsel? No morsel? Alright, well, that's fine for now. Uh, Alright, hang on. Let's see, we gotta move this thing out of my way. Oh, we'll move it back here into your way, kids. How about that? Right there. Where is Morsel? Is she in the box? She is. Morsel, come out here. You can sit with me instead of sitting in the box, okay? Come on. Come on. Hi, Nelly. Hi. Okay, it's your first mailbag, kids. Do you know what to do? Did you read the instructions? Oh, what do you mean I forgot to leave instructions? Oh, man. Well, we're just going to have to wing it. Uh, am I too close? I don't know. Let's take a look. Hang on. Let me check the cameras. Hi, everybody. Hi, kittens. Hi, Crouton. Uh, hi, YouTubers. All right. So, let's see here. Let me just check everything real quick. Uh, take a look around a little bit here. Uh, well, that part's good enough. And... Eh, that's good enough too. All right, we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna move that uh, floor camera to point this direction until the kittens all go somewhere else anyway. <laughs> Smidgey, you love being in there, don't you? That's kind of your playground. I see you in there all the time, playing with this stuff. Okay. Uh, all right, so uh, here we are. It is mailbag. Uh, it is Saturday. It is noon instead of 10, and it is uh, May 28th. There we go. And for news, so first off, the reason that we're doing a little bit late, uh, DJ's been in India, and my sleep schedule has slowly uh, gotten further and further away from uh, um, United States time. And I guess I could say it's been getting closer to India time, but you know, it doesn't matter wherever you go, you're getting closer to that. So uh, it's not because I've been staying up late and talking to DJ, unfortunately. It's just because I've been staying up late and uh, coding mostly. I've been working on improvements for Kitten Academy. So I feel like uh, I'm justified in being able to move things around a little bit as a result because I know uh, the work that I'm doing is, is for everybody. And uh, the good news about it, I have um, basically completed now automating the uploads of mailbags, like today's mailbag. And uh, that same system is going to go to automating the uploads of the little micro close-ups that we do every day. So I think that's going to make people feel like we're, they're getting more uh, close-ups, more, more you know, little videos to watch that are visible to the kittens. Uh, and an easier way to keep track of them. So I'm excited about that. It's not 100% done yet, but it's very close. Um, all the individual parts are tested and working and they just kind of have to be assembled now. So uh, I'm very excited about that. I was really late working on it last night and I'm very excited to get back to it today and uh, to get all that stuff done. As a result, you're going to see, I, I discovered as I'm going through that stuff, there's a huge backlog of uh, mailbags that haven't been uploaded, not just the ones from the last few months, but I think I found a whole bunch going back over the last year that have been missed. Uh, some of them might also be birth archives. They get handled the same way. So there's a chance that we'll be able to try re-uploading some of those that may or may not have been up there before. And uh, I'm excited about all of it. So that's, that's exciting. There is one more piece of even more exciting news, of course, which is I spoke to the Danbury Animal Welfare Society and they have a new mom cat coming in on Wednesday, this coming Wednesday the 1st. They have a new mom cat coming in on Wednesday that they would like for us to take, uh, at least in theory. Now, you know, uh, sometimes the mom cats, they have their babies before they can be transported or uh, any number of other things can happen so that uh, they don't end up coming here uh, as planned. So we never count our mom cats before they hatch, but uh, that even if we don't get that particular mom cat on that particular next Wednesday, uh, we do know that Dawes is real close to having uh, our next mom cat come in, which means uh, not only do I have to get caught up on things other than uploading videos like uh, photography stuff, but uh, we got to get these kids probably out of this room, or at least we've got to figure out how to organize the room so that we've got a happy place for new mom cat and a happy place for these kids. So. I haven't entirely figured out what to do yet, although the new room with the climbing wall, uh, I've been cleaning, I was cleaning it up already, and it is also just about ready to go. All I have to do is wash the floor, 
and then put stuff in it. It's already been sterilized and the rugs have been extensively washed and I took the cat tree that's in there uh, and washed it, uh, deep cleaned it with the rug cleaner, the cat tree, the whole thing got up in there. And so, so the room itself, very clean. Uh, like I said, just gotta uh, wash the floor and then we're ready to move. The trick is, I don't know if these kids are ready yet. Um, they're active enough and they're smart enough and they can definitely handle a new space right now, but they are not quite litter box trained yet. Uh, we keep seeing poops everywhere else and uh, I don't know, I don't know. Of course, if you remember when we moved the puppies in there, they were in the same place where I was like, I don't know, I don't know. And uh, in fact, they did have some poop and pee messes the very first days, uh, you know, maybe the first two or three days and then they figured it out uh, so so maybe but also they were all they were <laughs> older than this <laughs> they were quite a bit older than this it's easy to forget that these guys are barely four weeks four and a half weeks old today um, because they're so advanced so anyway yeah that's a lot of rambling I guess it's gonna be a rambling episode um, okay so to the mailbag stuff uh, that's you got all the news the important news we're gonna have to move kittens around real soon. I'm trying to get caught up on stuff and I'm really happy about some of the tech work that I'm getting done that's gonna pay off for everybody in due time, I promise. Uh, so um, for mailbag today, we're doing, we're doing all the mail that came in for last week's mailbag because even with the extra time I gave myself this morning, I decided to use it in uh, ways that we're not going to the post office to pick up this week's mail. I'll have to do that on Monday uh, so they don't get too mad at me for not being there uh, punctually. <laughs> Um, they, they do get, by the way, that bit, they, they have approached me many times about like, you gotta, you gotta make sure you come in here and pick this stuff up. Uh, so, uh, I might end up hearing about it. It's my fault. But, um, my point was that what we're opening today is everything that came in for last week and everything that has, uh, will come in for this week is unfortunately, I won't have it before Monday. Uh, and chances are we'll just roll it into next week. Um, and if that's not the case, I will, I'll let you know, we'll figure it out. But let's get started here. Let's let's get through what whatever we got here for last week. We'll do it, and then, um, uh, well, yeah, and then that's that. Okay, all right. So first off, we have this really cute postcard that arrived that has uh, crumbs. This is crumb right here. We have crumbs markings on it because this he does look like he uh, says nineteen with an exclamation mark on it. I don't. It's a little abstract now. The bigger he gets. Uh, there's also that dot right there you can see so uh, he's also kind of got to be at the right angle now to expose it for you But I think you can see it, it does kind of look like one nine exclamation mark and the little dots all the way over there So it works. I, I think you can still see it if you're looking for it It'll probably get even fuzzier as he gets even bigger of course That's just the way things are uh, So the postcard says Crumbs markings are so unique we couldn't resist trying to find a good font to match Crumb and company are so round and strong, they're surely acing all fitness and cuteness classes at the academy. Crumb is just about to poop outside the litter box. Hey, I got you. Right here, right here. Come on, you gotta learn this lesson if you ever want to get to the big room. For some reason, these kittens are unusually resistant to this litter box. I don't know, the litter box is, I should say where usually with, with other kittens, you know, we give them the litter box and they're curious about it and they want to get in and check it out. And then as they're pooping or peeing, if we just move them to the litter box, problem solved. They just keep going right in the litter box. These guys almost across the board um, don't seem to really like checking out the litter box. And if I move them into the litter box, seven out of ten times, they're going to jump out of the litter box and go look for another place to poop. Uh, right? Even if they're like ready to go. <sighs> anyway, so I don't know. I know they're so advanced in so many ways. I guess we've got to have some little issue, uh, and this is it for them. And so far, it's the litter box. Won't last long. They'll be over it. So uh, where was I? Uh, you said the puppies have class have grown up to be so beautifully fluffy and sociable. I'm sure they'll have loads of fun in their new homes. Much love to all KA kitties and humans from Marco and his minions. Oh, well, thank you. I love the postcard. It's really cute, and it suits 19 uh, especially well. A little, uh, little crumb, as he's also known now. All right. I think that was our only uh, letter, actually, that came in last week. Just the one postcard, which is okay because... Uh, it seems like the majority of the boxes this week or uh, last week, whatever, are ones that are sort of hand packed. In fact, I think there's three of them just from Ruth. Uh, you know Ruth, uh, that was Port's adopter. 
Um, so uh, those are the you know those usually have letters and uh, a lot of stuff to go through. So it's uh, it's not like it's all going to be uh, drop shipments and uh, just going to fly right through it. Um, there's there's going to be definitely more of the communication that I love so much from you guys and not just uh, Amazon notes, which there's nothing wrong with an Amazon note. It gets the message across, but you know how much I love letters. So, all right, uh, let's open something. Let's just pick, whoa, buddy. Let's just pick something here. Let's see, whatever's right on top. Hey, Nuggy, Nugget, come on, Nugget. Nugget, you used to be in the A team, the, the, the lap team, buddy. You don't want to come over here and be a lap team? All right, whatever. I can see if I move those cameras, though, you can watch all those kittens while I am talking. That's even more fun than this. Give me one sec. Zoom in on a little nuggy there. I'd get up if I didn't have a lap full of kittens already. Grab him. Okay. Always new trouble to solve. We're having some trouble with the system I already built to control the cameras. That's okay for now. It's also weird with that ball hanging down there. All right. Now how do we look? Good. Lots of distractions. Lots of rambling. All right. Let's get something open. What do we got here, kiddos? What do we got? Who wants to open this? KA, okay to read on stream, read note first. Well, all right, let's do it then. Let's not go any further. There's just a, there's a barrier of tissue paper in there, so I can't see what's in the box. But the note was right on top, so let's take a look. Oh, oh wow, it's very fancy with a, uh, with a pineapple, and it says merci, which uh, I think means stop hitting me. And uh, it says a special thanks to you from me. Thank you for all you do at KA. Aww. Uh, and then there's a typed out note that says, uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, how are things by you? It's been fairly quiet by us here in Florida, except the newest variant is upon us. It is more contagious, but milder. I don't, I really don't know if that's better or worse. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know anything about it, actually. I haven't been following any of that lately, except the only thing I've even heard recently was that uh, I was asking DJ how it's going, and she was, she said something that she'd been hearing about a new outbreak in Miami. So, so yeah, Florida. Um, anyway, uh, my mother-in-law started to foster some kittens that have been hanging out at their deck. She sends pictures. They are super cute. I think they are all, uh, I think they're pretty much all spoken for. She told me she gives the mom yogurt and she even gave her ice cream because it was hot. Uh, is this true? Well, I don't know if it's true that your mom uh, gave them yogurt and ice cream. Uh, they're not, uh, you know, uh, like I gave, um, uh, I gave Pug a tiny taste of ice cream last night. A little taste isn't going to hurt him, but it wasn't enough to like cool him off, of course. That would be too much. It's just ice cream is, is very high in uh, sugars that the cat doesn't really need. Uh, aside from that, it's not the worst thing, but cats are mostly lactose intolerant too, so you'd want to choose an ice cream that was uh, a lactose-free ice cream on, on the cat's behalf if you wanted to do that. Uh, similarly, uh, yogurt is, is not the worst choice to, you know, in a pinch if you don't have anything that's more cat appropriate. Um, also, uh, milk is, isn't, you know, a lot of people tell you milk's a real bad choice. It's not a real bad choice, but it's a bad choice. <laughs> um, but uh, if you wanted to do milk, again, the lactose-free milk, not so bad as a, as a treat or a snack or just something for them to have a lick or two of, you know, like a couple licks of ice cream, great, a couple licks of the lactose-free milk, fine. Uh, you know, a couple bites of yogurt. Uh, DJ loves to give our kittens yogurt, even though I tell her not to because they usually end up with some bad poops. Uh, all that said, I wouldn't give any of that as a meal uh, for a cat. Uh, for, for a meal, those are all pretty bad choices. As a treat, you know, whatever. Um, but, but as a meal, not great. So um, I would help her uh, get some cat food, I think. That would be a much better choice. Um, you say, 
I see you feed the mama cats the royal canine with warm water. The cats are outside, so it's a bit different. They're still snuggling together and haven't started to venture outside their area, but I think they will soon. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm not super, you know, uh, experienced with taking care of cats that are living uh, out, you know, on their own. So I don't know for sure what the best choice is, but putting out some food if you want to help take care of them is uh, not the worst idea. Just, you know, make sure that they have a safe space where you're not going to attract, um, you know, other animals to their area because I, I think that then she would want to move the kittens and then it's a big mess. Uh, so, so just be careful about that aspect. You might want to do real controlled uh, feedings, you know, if you can. Um, wherever she's doing the yogurt, maybe just, you know, like if you just... Anyway, you guys, you'll figure it out. You know what you're doing. Uh, you sent a few pictures to Lisa. They are adorable. I think they're two kittens and one calico. Are calicos determined by the dad or mom? And for that matter, torties. Are they rarer for kittens to be born this way? Uh, what is the most popular kitten type? I think from what I've seen on the stream, there's always a different variety of kittens that have, that have been born at KA. Yeah, we do see quite a bit of variety. I'll tell you, the genetics of cats are super complicated. Uh, what I can tell you is that calicos and torties, of course, have to have both the orange, the genes for the orange coloring and the genes for the black coloring. Um, so um, I, I think they need to sort of have involvement from mom and dad to get that. Uh, also, um, calicos and torties are the same coloring, uh, which is why uh, they're so easy for people to confuse which is which. There's a, there's a spectrum with calicos on one end and torties kind of on the other, but there's, it's a smooth spectrum. There's no point where you can say for sure, here's where it switches from calico to torty. So there's a lot of cats out there that are pretty confusing. Um, the, the trick then is in how much white they have. The more white that they have, the more that they look like the traditional calico because the same gene that, that makes their coloring white also makes that orange and black uh, more more blobby and less stripy. Like you think of the torties as being kind of stripy and you think of the calicos as having these big bold patches of color. Um, and again, it's the same thing. It's just that the, the spectrum of how blobby and how stripy the color is changes with the amount of white that they have. So it's interesting. It's fascinating. It's really fascinating stuff. Uh, which is way beyond me too. I have to look it up anytime I need to know anything in particular about it. I have to go and, and look it up again because um, I just can't keep anything in my brain these days. So uh, let's see. Um, you say here in Florida, we're starting to see summer start to come around. Temperature wise, it's only a matter of time before June when hurricane season comes by. How fun. Do you have anything you do if for some reason you get a storm by you? We batten down the hatches, yar, by us, by, uh, namely uh, putting up the hurricane shutters, making sure we have enough canned goods, etc. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't have any experience with hurricanes having lived my entire life in the Midwest up until a couple of years ago. We do not get a lot of hurricanes in the Midwest, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, but we do get uh, things like tornadoes, and we're always prepared for those, and it's not a huge difference. I mean, it's different enough to, that I wouldn't really know what I'm supposed to do, I guess. Um, but we're definitely prepared. We've got a generator and we've got a nice basement, uh, or maybe you don't go to a basement in a hurricane. Maybe you go upstairs. We've got one of those too. So I guess we're set either way. Also, I have a ladder. Oh, and if I remember, uh, I think the thing you're supposed to do in a hurricane is tie yourself to a tree and yell, right? I have rope and we have trees. So I think I'm, I think I'm set. Um, Okay, uh, anyway, onto the good stuff, box of things for kittens. I think there's a mix of toys, treats, food you can use as you see fit. They are as follows. All right, well, let's dig into it at the same time. Oh, uh, let's see. Fancy Feast, uh, Shiba Sticks, Tissue Paper. Yes, well, we saw the tissue paper, and here we have Shiba. Well, lots of the Shiba Meaty Sticks. All right, hey, guys, it's your first box on your first mailbag. I can see Crumb's interested. Nobody else knows what to do because mom called them all over there to play and nurse where uh, the cameras don't see very well now. Uh, okay, so we have the Shiba treat sticks. We have the blue wilderness cat treats. Uh, we have bursts, blue bursts. Ooh, that sounds like, um, I don't know, it just sounds like a candy that you would market to kids or something, doesn't it? Wasn't there one that was just like that? There was something. Oh man, I'm trying to remember what they called them now. Uh, that, that was like a gummy candy with the juice inside and the whole gimmick that they were marketing with was that they would sort of like pop like a, 
like a gross zit or something when you ate them. I remember this now vaguely. All right, doesn't matter. My whole childhood, uh, whatever. So here's the Fruity uh, Skitter Slices mouse set. This is one that was really big with Scooty to play fetch with and still a big hit for Logan to play fetch with. Great set of mice, everybody loves them. You have the uh, the Mylar uh, balls in the opalescent variety, the, the white and fancy. We got a croissant and a donut. We have three very fuzzy, pom it says pom-pom cat toys, but they're just super fuzzy balls. Uh, they don't look like the regular pom-poms. Uh, you said, I really had to squish to get everything in there. I'm sure they will enjoy as they see fit. If I miss anything, do with them as you see fit. Uh, I have one weird question. Do any of the cat food or treats spoil, or more importantly, can they? Well, uh, most of them can. Yeah, there's some cat food and treats that will last a really, really long time. Uh, so uh, that can be nice. Um, but yeah, they can definitely spoil. We try to go uh, you know, more or less by the expiration dates printed on the packages, just like for human food. You know, we don't follow those religiously for the human food either, uh, but we pay attention. And what we tend to do if we ever end up with too much food or treats that we can't get through and we can't get endowed out in time, it's very rare for this to happen. Uh, but it has happened that once in a while I gather up a big box of extra treats and food and uh, even some extra toys and things and bring them up to Dawes or uh, also our vet, uh, Dr. Katz at Aristocats has a program where she allows people to drop off food and, and stuff for cats and then sends them to the shelters that she works most closely with, which I think is mostly uh, Tails, uh, Tails in Connecticut. Uh, and Tails focuses mostly on, uh, Tails actually focuses mostly on feral uh, TNR type programs, just like for the cats under uh, your porch there. So that is, uh, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, we don't let them uh, ever spoil here. They, they definitely all end up getting used. It's just a question of uh, whether we use them or have to pass them on. So, all right, you said a remote controlled race and chase mouse. That is so cool. The remote control is uh, shaped like a cat. The mouse is shaped like a mouse. Um, and uh, it has a, like a real cool fur covering too. I've seen some remote control mice before, but I don't think I've seen one that's trying so hard to look like one of the, one of these actually and uh, you can see it's a very similar thing so they would probably have a lot of fun with that uh, you actually sent some unused tissue paper and some more blue wilderness and yes cans and cans of the fancy feast chicken uh classic pate and i'm looking right here best buy april of 2024 so uh, yeah, canned food especially uh, can last a really long time. I mean, that's why doomsday preppers uh, value canned food uh, so much. So um, uh, yeah, canned food, uh, definitely. Um, there's also those sort of irradiated, uh, there's the, the dried food that's, um, you know, that can last a really long time if it's properly stored, the, the dried stuff. And um, I, when I said irradiated, I was thinking of the stuff that's not dried, but is like the whole fillets of chicken that are packed up that way uh, in a little bit of broth. Um, those can also last a really long time if they are, uh, you know, properly stored. So, so yeah, stuff can last a real long time, but when it, when it overlasts, uh, we, we've got ways of dealing with that for sure. Uh, so thank you so much for sending this. Uh, Karen, uh, Karen, thank you so very, very much. I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Great first box for you kids to check out, huh? It wasn't it wasn't it crudy pie. Yeah. And you guys are good participators in mailbag. We haven't had kittens that were uh, like sit in your lap and hang out through mailbag kittens uh, in several classes, have we? Feels like it's been a while since we had that experience. But here we've got uh, crumb and tidbit uh, i don't know how well you can see them but they've just been sitting in my lap uh, biting each other and half falling asleep and watching me very cute and then we've got the others are kind of coming and going more so i would love it oh if you would join us over here come here come here come here morsel's so fuzzy she has i keep saying this i don't know how to describe it it feels like a double coat like a like a thicker different kind of fur than the others have uh, DJ thought she was going to become a full floof, which I don't think. I think she's just going to be a short hair, but with real uh, thick fur. But we'll see. She's so cute. Oh, 
this one falling asleep. I'm going to have to turn on my phone camera for just a second so you can see this, but I don't have a tripod, so I can't just leave it on. I want you to see this the way I'm seeing it, so let's see. How cute is that? Tiny crumb, tiny tidbit. You guys are too much. Morsel just wants to play with mom. Okay. All right, back to it. I'm going to manage to drag this short mailbag out for like seven hours. I apologize. Nobody wants that. Let's keep rolling here. What do we got? Uh, this says box three of three. So, um, but I've got kittens sleeping in my lap that are the cutest thing ever. So I'm not going to try to sort it out. We're just going to keep going. And if we are out of order, uh, well, the court will just have to impose some sanctions, won't it? Let's see here. Wow, this is a giant cat bed, though. Uh, and it is a giant cat bed that has a paw print on it. Oh, and it says crouton. And it has a picture of a little golden retriever snuggling a little kitten on it. Anyway, it says cuddly cave. A cuddly cave for crouton. That's nice alliteration. And it does seem like something that crouton would probably like a cuddly cave. I was also just thinking about the fact that uh, these kids completely skipped the animal uh, bed stage. Speaking of things that they have done differently, we have some of those animal beds that Pat sent that we still haven't even, I think they've still got plastic wrap on them. Uh, so like, I think there was a frog bed that's never been deployed. Uh, this looks like a, a bigger version of that kind of a thing, a bed that they can kind of get into that has, uh, there we go, it's got, um, yeah, it's sort of a pod bed. Yeah, a pod bed. That's what I'm going to say, which I like. It is shaped just like the animal beds are, but bigger and uh, might make a good choice to actually deploy in here. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to deploy anything today. I want to figure out if we're moving these guys to the big room or what. I need to make a, a decision about what to do for the new mom coming in. So we'll figure that out, but not today. This says 4KA. Ooh, fancy feast with milk for kittens. <gasps> Oh, do you guys want some of that? <laughs> He's like, I don't know what it is. I just learned about food the other day. Uh, so that's from Ruth. Uh, thank you so much, Ruth. Very much appreciated. Ruth and Bob, I'm sure. I should uh, not give credit to Bob. There we go. Okay. Next up. Here we go. Oh, we got a knife guard and it really paid off because I, I put a little tiny cut through the knife guard. Well, not through, just into. Look at that. You see that right through the middle uh, of the word guard? All right, doing its job. And we also have the note. Ooh, and we got little bags for these kittens that are so cute. And we have a little sleeping kitty on here. And you two are just too much. Oh, my goodness. Crumb, tidbit. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Hang on. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, congratulations to Crouton on her delivery. Boop. Congratulations, Crouton, of six adorable kittens. I'm so glad they're all eating and doing well. I'm sending small blankets and toys for Crouton's tiny breads to take with them when they graduate the academy. I'm also sending a tiny glass kitten for the tiny collection. I found a puzzle book that looks like it has some fun stories in it. Hope it makes for some good reading. Thank you for taking such wonderful care of all the cats and kittens at the Academy. Hope everyone remains healthy and happy. From Rose, Tucker, and Toby. Well, Rose and Tucker and Toby, you made little gift bags for these kittens to take with them when they go home. And this, these are some nice bags. You um, have sent stuff like this before, but I, I don't know if you sent the real fur mice that are in here. I see you put in a couple of those with some... Uh, wow, this one looks like crumb. How did you find that? Hang on. I don't usually open these. Oh, okay. It looks a little less like him now that it's out. Uh, but you can see how I was thinking that. 
Uh, anyway, you've got some real fur mice in here. You've got these really cool little balls and the, the catnip mice that everybody loves. And each one has their own little blanket, too. So this one is for Crumb. And then you did one for uh, Nugget. I love the way you turn the corner back on these so we can see that what they look like on both sides. Uh, this one is for Tidbit. And we've got Chunk here with some turtles on it. We have, uh, let's see, Crouton. Uh, Crouton's Hello Little Sweet. Aw, that's too, too much. Uh, we have Smidgen with an E. Good job. I like the elephants. And we have Morsel uh, with this cute little pink pattern. Super, super cute. Okay, don't get up, Crumb, uh, Crouton. You're fine right where you are. Then you said a little tiny glass kitten. And uh, since we moved bedrooms, I've had to move around DJ's Tiny Things collection. And we've actually got a, a special box that I'm supposed to be putting it all into now, which is another project that we haven't quite gotten to yet, but will. Oh, this thing's too cute. I need to show it to you up close. So we have to use the up close camera. It's a little kitten who uh, appears to be grooming her paw. Uh, I think she's, she's sort of cleaning her face and this is a good excuse to see these two. Oh, but now oh, they just move, so it's hard to see their faces, but that's okay. Go. Look at that, a kitten even tinier than these. Can you imagine? That's so cute. DJ's going to love it. And you can see how she's holding her little paw up. Do you see that? There you go. All right. That's super cute. Okay, I'm going to put it right back in here, nice and safe. <laughs> All right, Crouton found a nice place to sit on, on top of one of the boxes. Crouton has been going out and spending time with the faculty, and she has been doing great. Uh, if they get too close, she hisses. She doesn't want them to be too close to her, but she doesn't get upset about it. They just back off, and she's fine. She doesn't chase anybody. She doesn't start anything. She's fine with as many of them as want to be around. If they're running and playing, she doesn't care, doesn't get bothered by anything unless they come and get right up in her face, um, and then she hisses at them. Uh, so that's awesome. She just does so well. Uh, it won't be long before I'm just trusting her to, to you know, go out the door and I don't even have to pay any attention to her. This is the cutest thing. This is the puzzle book you're talking about, Perlock Holmes, Puzzle Ciphers and Itty Bitty Kitty Mysteries for Kitten Fans. Oh, and the photos. Oh my goodness, there's photos in here that are so great to go with these games. Oh man, I like this kind of stuff, um, but I think DJ really likes this kind of stuff. I think she's going to get a big kick out of this. I'm just I'm going to save it for her to take a look at. And then if she doesn't do it, I will. But I think she's going to enjoy it. I love the pictures. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it looks just like Maggie Moo. Wow. Stunning likeness. Okay. All right. I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to put these back here. But this is going to go over there. All right. Thank you so much, Rose. That is very sweet of you. And uh, Toby and Tucker as well. I think I got those names right. I'm actually feeling pretty proud of myself for that, but let's check. Rose, Tucker, and Toby. All right, thank you very much. All right, that can go here. This can also go here, although I love it. Uh, okay. Uh, well, now Grouton is sitting on that box, so we're going to have to reach over here and start on these, I think. All right. This says to Crouton. Oh, another one for you from Lisa for Kittens. All right. Oh, oh, hey, this looks very familiar. It is the same bread I'm sitting on. I'm, I'm confident it's the exact same photo that has been made in the exact same print with the exact same shape pillow. Uh, and it's just much, much smaller, of course. So I could take a picture of me sitting on the big bread and a kitten sitting on the little bread. That would be too silly. This is perfectly the same size as one of the kittens right now. Uh, that's too silly, you guys. All right. Okay, uh, so for Crouton. Okay, Crouton, I don't think you're going to fit on it, but here, you can have it. You want a bread right there? Okay. You can check it out. What do you think? It's pretty real, doesn't it? I don't know what you are doing. I just took a picture there. We'll put that up on the Discord. Oh, meow. Meow, yeah, where is the Discord? There we go. Hi, Crum, 
mean, you're just gonna you get your little nail stuck in there, and you're just gonna that's just where you're gonna sit, huh? You're gonna fall asleep like that? Maybe not. Okay, that's cute. I am. I, I'm pretty sure that's the exact same print design. Everything just scaled down. That's that's adorable. Wow, the photo opportunities with that could be too much. All right, uh, what do we got here? Uh, Lisa, four kittens, by the way. Thank you. Okay, no clues on the outside. It just says Kitten Academy. That's us, though. So at least one clue. It came to the right place. Oh, the, the bread set. Okay, this is starting to be a familiar set of bread. And it is... Whoop, let's see. Where is it? Who doesn't like more bread for Crouton and her tiny breads for immediate deployment from Joe and her cat, Halfers. Halfers is a great name, Joe. I love it. So, uh, yeah, this is the bag of bread, um, and I'll put some uh, catnip in it, and then we'll... I don't think there's... It says bread catnip toys. I don't know. If they're really catnip, uh, it's the first I've heard of it, and they don't smell like it. I think they're just using the word catnip to mean cat toy. Um, at any rate, it is. It's a bunch of... It's all different breads. There's a baguette and the, the cinnamon bun, and there's a pretzel and all kinds of stuff, a little seeded roll. Um, and I will put some catnip on it, and we will definitely have these kids rolling in it. So uh, for now, for now, I'm going to put it over here. If we're lucky, maybe some catnip will show up in the mailbag. Otherwise, I've got a giant stash downstairs. We don't have to go that far. Uh, so, all right. Next up, Halfers. That's a great name. I hope I'm saying that right. Could be Halfers. Hmm. I think it's Halfers. Mmm, that's good. That's some good coffee. All right, uh, where did we put the knife? There it is. Well, I think I know who this is from. This looks like a box from Lisa G because it's covered in uh, art from uh, the uh, the Hawaiian uh, artist, uh, uh, Cleveland, right? Cleveland, yeah. There we go. That's how we know. Oh, all right, hang on. There we go. Oh, okay, that's cool. It was all wrapped up in there. <gasps> this is so cute. So this says the note. Look at that handwriting. And there's what appears to be a tiny glass paw next to it. I think that's what that is. So let's check it out. If I can, I might need to get the letter opener. Nah, I have a finger. Finger is just like a blunt letter opener. I've always said. Uh, here it is. Uh, here is. Oh, this is so cute. It's a it's a family of cats that are all out for ice cream together, but one of them has dropped its ice cream, and it says "Whoops." Oh, and they all look so happy except for the one that dropped his ice cream. Uh, anyway, it's very cute. It says "Hello, Kitten Academy." I hope everyone is happy and well. For DJ, I've included a miniature cat paw healing stone made of fluorite. Ooh, that's going to be really cool to look at with the, the uh, urine, um, the, uh, the, the little UV light that we use. Because, of course, fluorite is going to glow, really. It's going to fluoresce, uh, fluorite. That's why they call it that uh, in the, the ultraviolet light that we use to look for cat pee. That's going to be fun. Uh, you say, I thought she might like it since she likes tiny things. Well, she sure does, and I, of course, am going to like it, too. It's, that's super cool, and it's cute. It's so cute. Uh, also enclosed, you'll find the usual endowments for Mama Crouton and all her sweet little tiny breads. Thank you for all you do to help the Kitten Academy graduates along the path to their forever homes. From Lisa G, Beans, and Cheeto. Thank you so much, Lisa G. Uh, Beans and Cheeto. Uh, I love the little paw print. And um, it says, Tiny Breads. <laughs> I love the way you've written this with another one of your stickers there. And then, as usual, you send everybody their own laser pointer. And the best part is each one has a little picture of them uh, for w when they were a little tiny kitten. Uh, which, by the time they go home, they won't be quite that small, though. These look like they were just taken yesterday right now. Uh, very, very sweet. So that's for Morsel, and you've got one for each of them. So wonderful. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun for them. Thank you so much, Lisa G. And uh, I can't wait to, to put that light on it. It's too bad the cleaning basket's not in here. It's got the ultramat light in it. That would be really cool to see. Okay.
All right, is this box one? No, is that box one? Let me just see, because I got two choices now we can do. This is box two, and this must be box one then. So here, let's start over here. Hang on a second, this goes with that. This goes with that maybe, I don't know, you like that tissue? Do you? Oh, you got such silky fur, oh yeah, very silky. Okay, oh, oh, okay, let's start back here then with this thing. It says it is from Ruth and Bob, right on the outside. Oh, it does say box one of three, there it is in the corner. All right, good, so. A little out of order, but not too badly. Oh, oh, hang on. More knife. More cowbell. All right, there we go. We got it. Oh, for Kitten Academy, these cute little receiving blankets with uh, lions and foxes and uh, all kinds of animals on them. Oh, and letters. Look at that. And then a variety of cute little patterns. Uh, you have, oh, the note. Okay, great. We'll get to the note. I see that you sent the pop-up mice that these guys are already playing with, but you've sent one for each of them to take home. Look at that one. Excuse me, for Nugget. These are, uh, this is the spring. Um, you guys know the spring with the mouse on top? Exact same thing, except this one has a, oh, it's got a chirping, electronic chirping ball on top. Even better. So this is like the advanced version of the spring toy that they all like so much. So that's a fun way for them to take it with them uh, as they grow up. So we got one for Nugget, one for Crumb, one for Tidbit, and uh, one for Morsel. There's more in the box, but let me read your... Hi, you're going to climb right in there, huh? You like the way that smells? There's a bed in the box, and she wants to check it out. Wow, this is beautiful. Uh, it looks like a... a um, pencil drawing of Ember the cat. Beautiful, beautiful work. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hope everyone is doing great. The boxes are labeled one through three. There are actually four, however. The last box didn't make it onto mailbag last week. Real snail mail. All should be labeled with big soft bed, which is for crouton. Aww. She's, that's what she just had to get right in there and check it out. She likes it. That's a, that is a big soft bed too, and it's made of a uh, I don't know what she calls it. not quite terry cloth, but it's real similar in that it's uh, got this, this texture of little tiny uh, loops, little tiny loops like a terry cloth. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's soft and it's cute and she apparently just wanted to jump right in and check it out, which she did. Uh, okay. Uh, all should be labeled uh, Big Bed for Crouton. Okay, she's so sweet and reminds us of our Willow. Anything not labeled is for Kitten Academy to use as you see fit. Thank you for all your hard work from Ruth and Bob. Well, thank you, Ruth and Bob. You've been taking excellent care of us and of the kittens for a while now. We're just so... Um, uh, I hate to use cliches uh, like blessed, uh, but, but really it's been wonderful that that you have come into our lives uh, and, and we really appreciate it. So uh, so not only did that include, it had the blankets, the springs, the, the beautiful gray bed, and also uh, some packing material here, the, the best kind of packing material, Fancy Feast. We got some extra little cans of Fancy Feast going on right there. So uh, now I don't know exactly how to uh, arrange all this stuff, but I'm gonna put that there for now. Uh, let's see, what is this box? That's just uh, random. Random. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this, I think, in here. Come with me. There we go. Okay, because this is sort of general purpose. We will put that in here with the... No, that's not right, though. Okay, you know what? I'm going to come back to this whole project after mailbag. Why don't we wait until after mailbag? For now, let's just get this stuff out of the way. <laughs> okay. All right, because now I've messed it all up. We still we consolidate a little. That's worth something by itself. Okay, so box number three. Let's go to that. Also, let's see if I move my leg like this. Can you see these guys? One of them at least, I hope. Such a cute one. Well, we've at least got it. Okay. All right. Okay. Ready. Hi, Crudy. What are you looking around for, huh? Oh, 
Hey, that's a familiar looking bed in here. It says for KA. Hang on, I can't get the bed out yet. Uh, first off, we have these uh, cute little fleecy receiving blankets with elephants on them. We have uh, more cans of Fancy Feast, which I'm just going to leave in there. Also, the rest of the springs for the rest of the kittens. Awesome. And then another one of these beds, like the one you sent for Crouton. Uh, that was you that sent it, right? Yes, I think it was. Uh, but for us, for Kitten Academy. So that's awesome. Uh, now I'm really confused about how to organize this stuff to get it out of here, but I'll figure that out afterwards. Okay. Uh, there we go. So more Fancy Feast, like I said, uh, and the rest of those springs are also in that box, but we don't have to get those out. You know what they look like. In fact, I need to close this box so that I can put this other box on top of it. How did you put that stuff in there? There we go. Okay. Oh, look out there, Crumb. Oh, 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 I know, I know. Big stuff moving overhead. There we go. Okay. Just like that. All right. Hi, buddy. What are we looking at, crumbly boy? Okay. So there's a little thing on top here. Let's start with that. Hi, Ty, Crumb. You know, I thought that Nugget was the, the number one, like, uh, person glomming kitty in this group. And he's not even over here. He's been just really falling down the, on his duties the last few days where... Uh, crumb now turns out to be the number one like I need to be with my person all the time kitty Maybe nuggets just already grown through that phase uh, <laughs> Yes, oh, oh, hey, I think I know what these are uh, who sent this it doesn't say does it? Is there a note? These are those cool little toys that were so cool. I stole one last time. Oh from Michelle Michelle J uh, Michelle J, that's all we know is who it's from. There's no room for a note on this, but it's through Etsy. And it comes from an Etsy store called Kitty Lizard. And uh, I think we gave away um, the ones that were sent before uh, as endowments, except for one that I put in like my, I don't know, box of projects and fun stuff. And I haven't, I haven't taken it out again, uh, uh, except to look at, because <laughs> it's too cool. They're just little 3D printed anoles. Oh, like the picture. There's a picture of an actual anole. But these are little 3D printed segmented anoles that have a little string on them so you can, uh, you know, move them around as a kitty toy. And of course, it's not a cat toy you can let your cat use unsupervised. But uh, right there, playing with them, it's so cool. Oh, I guess they're in different colors too. This one's uh, yellow. Um, but yeah, this is exactly the same. Um, oh, it says right here, warning, supervise the use of this toy. Hide when not used and discard if it becomes damaged. Yes, very good advice. And I'm just going to break that. So whoever uh, gets this from us uh, will have to know. Anyway, I just want to show it to you though, because they're so cute. Uh, so like I described it, it is just a little lizard that's segmented. And you can see how it moves around. It's plastic. Uh, it's It's probably like a, a PLA uh, plastic um, based on the texture, which also means it's going to be a little fragile, but maybe not the best choice for that. They would have been better off maybe with something like an ABS that the cat could chew on a little bit without pieces coming off. Um, but it's just so cool and fun. And then it's, uh, it's wound on a piece of fishing line on this tiny little spool and it's got a, a ring that you can like wear on your finger you used to make a little noose uh, on the other side to attach it to something and play with so it's just really cute and and uh really really cool the tiny details are fun the way it moves is fun and uh, i really want to play with one with the kittens i just i, I keep forgetting about it it's so cool so it looks like you sent two of those, a yellow one, and uh, we won't, we don't need to open that other bag to take a look at it right now, but uh, uh, Michelle, thank you so much. They're really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to put them in here for now. I've got to remember to get out the one that I have and play with it. Also, this uh, confetti is fun. I bet the kittens would like to play with that a little bit. That's fine. They don't need to eat that much paper, which I'm sure is what they would do. <laughs> okay, uh, what do we got next? Those are so fun. Meow, meow. Hi. Hi, Crumb. Oh, you're going to go eat? Okay. You guys have all been really good eaters. Even if you can't figure out the litter box, at least you got something uh, going for you. 
All right, two more boxes, two big, big boxes though. Uh, so let's see. This one appears to be another from Ruth and Bob. I think that is the fourth one from them that we've opened, so yes. There we go. The Trilogy of Four, a classic. The Note. Ooh, another note. Oh, and I see something really cool right on top. Oh, this looks familiar. It's the same artist, but this one is Monday and is a uh, uh, little um, crumb kitty, a little black, excuse me, black and white kitty. Also very beautiful. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for all the love and care you give every day to these precious kitties. It is so nice to have a place to come that is uplifting and nurturing in an otherwise often difficult times. In this box are items for use at Kitten Academy uh, or uh, to specific kitties, and I hope I labeled them as should be. You will notice there are two special blankets for Crouton. My love for her is enormous. However, I admit I didn't get the first one uh, very quickly, so I assume my order failed and wanted to be sure that she had got one. So now she gets two. Always good to have a backup. Well, I've gone on enough. Best wishes to all new adopters. May your new fur family babies bring you joy from Ruth and Bob. Ruth and Bob, thank you so much. Uh, so, yes, uh, as you mentioned, you sent a, uh, oh, this is cute. You labeled the inside of the box uh, flaps. It, that's good. I you know, like that. Uh, so, uh, Crouton, look at that. Uh, Crouton here with this Sherpa uh, material and her name spelled out and a little paw. And then on the other side, it's got like a faux uh, fur, no, micro suede. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Um, real nice for Crouton and another one, almost the same, with a slightly different color for her name, a little pink, uh, otherwise identical. Beautiful, oh, so sweet. She's gonna love those. And then the rest of the box is filled up uh, with just all kinds of goodies. Look at these, we got some socks, some very colorful cat socks. You say one for Dr. DJ, one for Mr. A. Uh, that's so fun. Um, they're so bright too, I just, I love the little cat faces. Uh, you got the, oh, for Scotty. All right, Scotty, uh, you've sent the uh, the best kind of uh, cat wands, I think. These these ones that are, I keep calling them fiberglass. I think they're fiberglass or carbon fiber or some kind of fiber thing uh, that just never breaks. Uh, we've broken the strings on a couple of them. i got to put new strings on. But these rods are, are really, really good. So that's a great um, uh, wand toy for Scotty. Uh, let's see. <laughs> you sent a little tiny coin purse and it just says cats are expensive on that coin purse. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so cute. It just says open. I thought, sorry, I was looking because I thought it was going to say, um, whoop, it, I thought it was going to say it was for some particular kitty. It's got a little picture of a kangaroo on it too. Oh, it's so cute. I want to make sure, oh, oh, I see. I was going to say, I want to make sure open wasn't a message to me. It was a message to me because uh, you also sent a really nice donation in there. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put it right there for now. Uh, that's very generous of you. You also sent uh, for Crouton. Look at this blanket. I think it matches the socks. It does. That's the same print as the socks. You can clearly see it's the same print. But this one is a big old uh, blanket. It says John's Crazy Socks, though. Um, all right, John's Crazy Socks. Branching out a little bit, that's fine. Oh, it says uh, my favorite breed is Rescue Fleece Blanket. My favorite breed is Rescue. That's a very cute little saying. I got to get up because I heard that poop announcement. I want to make sure that poop's going in the right place. Oh, it is. Okay, good. That's... Uh, tidbit who's been very good about the litter box actually she's one of the ones that seems like she's got it figured out so okay that was good so uh, let's see you also wrote here um, scratchers one for each new kitten and that's exactly what we have here are these scratchers that are uh, they have a, a print on the side that's like a, a burlap or something I think that's a burlap maybe but they're, they're cardboard S-shaped, wave-shaped scratchers. Very, very popular. Uh, the wave scratchers are good ones. 
Yeah. Now we got some more paper going on here. These kittens should all be like, this is the first time they've ever seen anything like this and they should be freaking out and instead they're all just interested or sleeping. Uh, so that's good, actually, that's good. They've got that real even temperament like their mom. Uh, let's see, we have Wellness Core Tiny Tasters. That's just a cute name for a food, Tiny Tasters. Are they tiny tasters? What makes them tiny tasters, I wonder? Oh, oh, they are. Look at that. They're like little tiny packets. Hmm. Very cool. Smooth pate chicken. All right. We'll try that out. We'll give them tiny tastes here and there. We'll see how they like that. Uh, you also sent, of course, some Royal Canaan mother baby cat. That's what we use when uh, when, when, when uh, we're making mom cat special or uh, when we've got some kittens that need a little bit of extra incentive. And you also sent Fancy Feast. So thank you for that. And you also sent this cute little, oh, it's got a pull tab on it. It's a cute little um, hamster with a pull tab. Oh, he shakes. Whoa, what was that? What does that mean? It certainly got Crumb's attention. I don't know if you can see him uh, in my lap. Look, he sits up. What was it? <laughs> what does that mean? Are you a tiny taster? Okay. Uh, so I didn't get them all out. But like I said, you also sent Fancy Feast and you also sent uh, a whole set of the wave-shaped scratchers. So uh, Bob and Ruth, thank you so much for all that. Again, that's just super awesome and generous of you. All right. Uh, I'm going to put this. I guess I'm going to set it right here for now. Uh, this says Crouton on it. Good. That can go right there. This says Scotty on it. All right, that can go there. Uh, actually, I'm gonna break this up. This is gonna go here, this is gonna go here. We have one more box. I just need to make room to, uh, to get it out here. So, let's make sure this is nicely balanced and a little more out of the way if we can. There we go, good enough for the moment. Oh, uh, Crouton's big blankets, there we go. And that brings us to this Costco box. Mm. 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 Oh, that's good. It's good stuff right there. Hi, problem. Let's put on the, the ceiling camera just so you can see whatever Crouton happens to be doing at the moment which isn't much right now, but she's been all over the room. Oh, if we can. There we go. Just try that out, see if that's a better view, that, and uh, uh, we'll do this, I think. Okay. All right, uh, where'd that knife go? Right here. I made a real mess out of all this room, the whole room. It's a good thing I vacuumed. Vacuum, unvacuum. All right. Push that out of the way. Slide this on up. Yeah, I didn't mean you. I didn't mean you had to fall over. You want this? You want to trade this? It's going to purr. What does it mean? What does it mean? You don't care. They're already over it. They just want to fight each other. Fair enough. They're way more entertaining than any toys, so feel the same way. Ooh, what on earth is this? Who sent this thing? It's a giant pineapple squishmallow. I didn't know there was such a thing. Uh, and that's all it is. It's just a giant pineapple squishmallow in a box. Um, so that's what this is. It is a, it's like a giant pillow. Um, it's a pillow character uh, stuffed animal thing. It's got Hello Kitty face. It is a pineapple costume that Hello Kitty's face is wearing. It's, uh, I don't know, maybe the most perfect thing that you could possibly get for a Kitten Academy uh, cat room. And I think it'll be something nice for me to sit on, right? I can do that. That's not disrespectful, is it? Uh, so it's pineapple. It's a kitty. Um, it's, uh, it's really, it's perfect. I don't know who sent that. I love it. Oh, wow. Uh, it, not only is it going to look good, it looks like it's it's so soft, I want to sit on it right now, and I know that's not what they're for. Uh, it's just more like a pillow, but I don't... There's nothing wrong with me sitting on this thing. It's so soft. Wow. 
Uh, and the Hello Kitty logo, of course, the, her face looks very much like our logo, although our logo only has two whiskers, which is how we avoid being sued. That's a, that's a joke. Please don't come after us, Sanrio. Oh, my goodness. Uh, can you imagine? Um, I think it looks distinct enough. <laughs> I hope it does. Uh, anyway, uh, so cute. Um, yeah, this is that's something I, just, I didn't expect it. I have no idea what to say about it, um, except that I'm really excited to have it in the room. Thank you to whomever sent it. Also, I don't know how they textured this material it's made of, because it's, like like, it's like a little fur, but it also clearly has the pineapple texture in it. They must have cut down the fur uh, in that shape or something. I don't know. It's very cool. There's also there's a weird little thing on top that I think is supposed to make the the top stand up a little better, but it's not actually connected to anything. Hmm. All right, a mystery. A mystery for me to figure out. I haven't seen too many of these. I know the Squishmallow thing uh, can be popular for people. I think DJ has one uh, that had been at her dorm, uh, I say dorm, at her hospital apartment. Um, it must be it must be here somewhere and then that's the only other time i've even ever heard of them uh but uh it's so cute and it is again it's the perfect thing for in here uh, i don't know i don't think i know who sent this a box that says costco oh oh there it is right there it says uh kona mama for mom cat room kona kona mama kona mama thank you so much for the most perfect decoration for this room and just in time for us to get a new pregnant mom cat in that she can have fun with that uh i'll have fun with that she and i can hang out together she's so pretty i really hope she comes she's like a dilute uh like a dilute calico just like um just like smidgen uh is uh and in her picture she looks very pregnant and uh very adorable but uh, because she looks so pregnant, you know, it's hard for me to be confident she'll even get here. Uh, you know, she could have her, her kittens and we don't like to transport them after they're born, um, you know, for obvious reasons. I like to give them some time and uh, they usually find other fosters in those cases. Uh, but yeah, all right. So that was mailbag. I got to get all this stuff put away. Uh, I guess today was the crumb and tidbit show. Maybe next time we'll get a little more involvement from the other kittens. I've got to make a decision about what we're going to do for the new mom cat, where she's going to go. Part of me thinks uh, just keep these kids in here for another couple weeks or another week or however long it takes them to figure out the pooping. Bring the new mom in and put her just right next door. And then uh, as soon as these guys are ready to move, clean this room and then she can expand in here. Not the worst plan. Uh, that might be what I'll do. Or I could clean up the big room, move the kids right away, and bring the new mom straight in here. Uh, I'll need enough time in between then to get this room cleaned. Or I uh, do something completely different. Bring the new mom in and put her in the new room. Or bring the new mom in and put her downstairs in the old room. Uh, or any kind of number of things. I just gotta figure out what's gonna be easiest. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm very excited about her though. And I'm very excited to wrap up the programming on the system that's going to now upload this mailbag and all the others as well. Uh, it's a shame. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I mentioned to all of you about uh, the fiber uh, internet that we wanted to get the uh, symmetric uh, gigabit fiber internet that they said was coming to our house uh, like in April and now they're telling us it's going to be another couple months at least before we can have it. If we had that, all that all that stuff would be much easier to deal with. But for now, uh, we've got to do everything we can to sort of limit our, our uh, internet, upstream internet usage. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to when we have more options for, for that kind of stuff. We could do so many fun things. Another couple months. It really opens up possibilities. Stuff like I can, uh, then I'd have the bandwidth. I would need to upload all kinds of raw video and let other people edit it so I wouldn't have to worry as much about the time for that kind of stuff. Or uh, same thing for photos, that would be an option. Excuse me, all kinds of other fun stuff too that I, uh, yeah. Keeping close to my chest for now, but really fun ideas. I'm keeping you close to my chest too for now. You're also a really fun idea. Okay. All right, I got to get this stuff cleaned up. I got to get this room cleaned up. Oh, I got to get myself cleaned up, all right? I got to get that code cleaned up. Clean it up. It's a clean up day, all right? Clean up day.
Yeah, oh, it's a crumb. It's a crumb. Oh no. Oh no. I just vacuumed this floor and now there's crumbs all over it. Okay. Well, uh, where are we going to start here? The box, the Squishmallow box, very valuable. So uh, we're going to take the Squishmallow, put him right next door. Either way, next door is a good spot for this. Oh, pretty good spot for this too, maybe. Just sitting out here in the hallway waiting for his turn to play with something fun. Like one of these kittens. <laughs> uh, he really does want to play with these kittens. He's just he's just way too big for them. I think he would be respectful. It's just I don't I don't think that even at his most respectful these kittens are ready for that. Not quite yet. They just learned to walk, you know. Again, it's so easy to look at them and how advanced they are and forget that. that they just learned to walk, like just two days ago, you know, like I've got no idea how to deal with something like a pug. Not too much. Okay, so this is endowment stuff. Uh, this is, I don't know, food stuff. Okay. Great experience. These kids are so good already. And uh, to, to be dealing with all this noise and activity this well is very good. I think their mom has given them some good genes. The only kind she's got, of course, is her choice. Sorry, I'm locking the whole camera, everybody. Sorry, sorry. I know. I know. Just trying to get it sorted out. loves to play in the nested boxes like this. He can't resist it. It's one of his favorite things for some reason. And more than once I've nearly dragged him out to the garage with the boxes because he just buries himself in there. So silly. Okay, so let's see. So that's for you guys. And those are for you guys. Bench 
for you, Crouton. Well, you end up like a lot of beds, Greedy. Got a lot of beds here. Downstairs. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, Crudy and Kittens. Hey, Pugo, you're gonna have to move, buddy. Can't slide the fast, you. Ah, you want to? Yeah, trust me. Keep an eye on you. It's fine. Don't hiss right at Pug. Not his fault. You're the one coming out of here. Leave that in the hall and slide a couple more of these other things out now. I think maybe Let's do that. Let's slide this out. Oh, we have a clear path. All right, gotta make a slide way here. Well, sideways. Uh, you should not be in here with kittens. No, you really should not at all. Back up. Yeah, yeah. I know, you think it's fine. I know, buddy. All right, we hear your opinion. I really wants to come in here and see what's up. come in and Crudy's not too far outside so if she comes in and sees him she might be a little surprised uh, thank you guys so much for joining us I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna wrap up the archive here uh, this one should get uploaded a little sooner than the others so we do have a big uh, backlog and uh, like I said a couple more things to finish up in the automation but no reason it shouldn't be done today the automation part like I was saying, our bandwidth use is very low, and uh, therefore the uploads will take a while, but once they're automated, they'll definitely happen. All right, Pug, let's go before Mom comes in and sees somebody strange in her room and decides that's the thing she's got to freak out about, okay? I'm going to give her the reason. Oh, I can see the kids really want to play with him. He's like a giant. A giant next to these tiny kittens. What does that mean, buddy? What does it mean, buddy? Oh, okay, he's gonna hiss now. He don't need to hiss and swat at these kittens, buddy. Just take one picture. Okay, let's go. And I see somebody just ran out, tidbit. Come on, back in. Tibbet just went right out in the hall, started sniffing around, exploring, just no fear. Yeah, well, okay, one fear then. She doesn't want me to pick her up. Yes, well, I'm sorry. Fear realized. Okay, fear realized. Come here, let's eat. Did I turn off the archive? Did I get distracted by everything happening? I don't know. If I didn't, I'm about to. If I did, I'm talking to myself. Uh, 
and all of you. Yeah, that's how it works. All right, thanks everybody.